decided to come and do this course because it was so accessible, having not come from a computer science background. I came from maths and physics and after that I did a PGCE but then decided I wanted to go down more of a computing route. Originally I was doing business management. I originally came from a music technology background. Some of the modules had some programming in it and I was really interested in that side of it. Whenever I seen that I could do a conversion course and learn how to code and maybe get a job in one year, I thought that was just really enticing. This is a conversion master's. We are working with students that are coming from all sorts of different backgrounds. They're coming to this course with no background in computer science. So it's really interesting to see how the, the diverse range of backgrounds really brings the course alive. You get exposure all across the board. The range that you cover in itself is such a benefit to have going to an employer. There's really, really well established links with industry, all geared towards how will this get the students ready. Everything's very up to date and Every year the, the course is you know, updating how they teach it and what, and what they're doing just because of the way the industry is changing. So the course is primarily taught in a programming language called Java, which is a language that we use um, to be able to teach the fundamentals of programming. Although you're learning to write in Java, those skills are then transferable into any programming language. And that's really important for employers as well. They don't want somebody that can only work in one particular language or with one particular narrow field of technologies. The lecturers are really, really good at what they do and they really aid in your teaching and in your learning. They're so engaging, so encouraging and they're really kind of making the most of resources that are available to them. Most of the lecturers have worked out in the industry before so it's quite cool to actually see that they can teach us from a very experienced background then. So the course uses what we call project-based learning. The students also undertake a, a three-month intensive project and that happens at the end of the course. And they can either do that through a, an individual project or they can take in one of the ideas from an academic member of staff and they're in charge of the project management, but they're also in charge of all the, the technical aspects of the project. I had pretty much uh, decided from the start that I wanted to do a company project. Well, my first preference was the Allstate project where they said that they wanted to build an app that would aid autistic children and children who were non-verbal in communicating. So I ended up on that project over the summer. I thought it was a really great process because it kind of was like, if I work really hard, I might get offered a job at the end of it. So I just made sure I put a lot of effort into it and it paid off. Allstate actually offered me a job at the end of the project as well because of my grades and because of how well the project went. You get such a mix of people, music, technology, English students, everything. That then feeds into when you're doing projects. Everyone brings something different to the team, so it, it works really well. So like bring a nice team together that has all the different strengths. From the minute we started, they were talking about the employability skills program that they run. And then they've had companies in on a weekly basis doing talks. Maybe they've had students who've already done the MSc and telling us about their experience in a company that they've gone on to work with. They're so encouraging, they're, they're really doing everything they can do to get you employed at the end of it. The part-time course is delivered as a fully online course. We provide a lot of pre-recorded materials and lecture notes and um, code snippets. Then we'll also deliver the lectures through a, a live video call um, during the evenings um, and that's really important for students that are typically they have commitments during the day, they might be working full-time. We also then record all of the lectures from the online course. Even though I'd done a little bit of coding before the Masters, I was basically at ground zero, like whenever I started it, so I feel like anyone can go in if you really want to. There's really, really well established links with industry. It's something that is, is one of the constants that exists throughout the course is that we're, um, we're, we're always thinking about everything that we do in terms of our teaching, everything we do in terms of the projects the students undertake or the project-based learning they undertake is all geared towards how will this get the students ready for working in the software development industry. And the likes of Allstate, which is the biggest company in Northern Ireland, here and like I said, Liberty, City, all those kind of places, it's, it's very exciting that they're here in Belfast and actually then Belfast can start to become a bit of an IT hub and, and be known for that. The great thing about software is it's kind of a universal language, so I don't need to speak German to go and be a software developer in Berlin. Ideally, yes, I really wanted just to walk out of my degree, graduate and get a job and that was their dream and it happened for me thankfully.